The most important thing when trying to bring the original shadows on a new background is to make sure you photograph your subject on white. So let me show you how to edit this. I'm gonna bring in the photo with the camel on top of the sand image and for the moment I'm gonna hide this layer. I need to zoom in on the sand background and analyze where the light is coming from. In this case it's clear that the light comes from the left side of the image because the shadows of these small rocks are on the right side. So this means that the camel should have the shadow on the right side too. So let's unhide the layer with the camel, go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. Now the shadow is on the right side of the camel which is perfect. I duplicate this layer and call it camel. And I also rename the layer underneath and call it shadow. Now I select both layers holding down shift and group them by pressing Ctrl G. I will call this group camel. For now I will hide the shadow layer. I select the camel layer and make a selection of the camel using the focus area. What this does, it creates a selection around the objects which are in focus on the selected layer. With the camel layer selected, I'm going to select focus area. And I have this slider called in focus range. I need to position this slider at a point where almost the entire camel will be selected. So I will go up to a value of 4. The selection is not perfect, I will need to use the layer mask to unhide some missing parts here and also to hide some areas from this zone. But for now I will output this to layer mask and then hit OK. So let's clean up the areas. I'm gonna hide the sand layer for now because I want to have a clear image of the camel. Select the layer mask on the camel layer. Take the brush Make sure you paint with white. You can use the bracket keys to adjust the size of the brush and then start recovering the missing areas. I will switch the brush to black now because I want to hide all these parts here near the camel and again I start to paint over this area. Okay, great. I have two more areas here which I need to hide and for this I'm going to use the magic wand tool. I'm going to click here and then hold down shift and click on the other white area to add a selection. To hide these areas and to include them in the same layer mask I need to fill them with black. So I'm going to edit, fill and choose black from here then hit OK. If you take a closer look on the edges here, they need to be more soft, so I double click on the layer mask, this will open the select and mask properties, I will enter 2 for smooth, 1 pixel for feather and minus 40 for the shift edge. I make sure that the output is set to layer mask, this will update the current layer mask and then click OK. Now I can say that I have a good selection of the camel. Let's place the shadow now. Unhide the sand layer and the shadow layer. Now put the shadow layer to multiply blending mode. This will make the white part invisible and look at that, we have a real shadow on the sand. Even if the camel doesn't look good because it's transparent, I can now unhide the camel layer and now the image looks very good. And it's close to reality, but we need to tweak this more for colors and brightness. Just take a look at the lighting on the camel. It doesn't seem right, because I have some light bouncing on the right side of the camel, where the shadow is, and this is not real, so I'm gonna darken this side of the camel using a levels adjustment layer, which I'm gonna clip to the camel layer only by right-clicking the layer and choosing create clipping mask, or by pressing alt and clicking between the layers. I bring the midpoint slider to 0.24 to darken the camel. I'm gonna invert the layer mask with Ctrl plus I, choose a white brush, adjust the flow to let's say 15% and then start darkening only the right side of the camel. Okay, the camel looks a bit oversaturated so I create a hue saturation adjustment layer. I clip it to the camel layer 
and I bring down the saturation slider to minus 20. I also create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, clip it again, and bring down the brightness of the camel to minus 17. I make these things just to blend in the camel better into the sand layer. And if I zoom in here, I can see that the highlights on the camel are white. So I want to warm them up just a little by creating a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna clip this also to the camel layer. From the channels, I choose blue. And I drag this point down to add some yellow to the camel. And you can check the difference by hiding and unhiding this curves adjustment layer. I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but I can clearly see a difference. So now, the only thing I need to do is to brighten up the whole image by adding a levels adjustment layer outside this group, and this will affect the whole image. I bring the highlights point to the left and the midpoint to 1.18. Let's see how I started this editing. I began with the sand layer. On top of it, I inserted the shadow layer with multiply blending mode. And then I inserted the camel. I darkened the right side of the camel. I desaturated the layer a bit. I darkened the whole camel and I inserted some yellow on this layer. In the end, I made the final adjustments for the exposure using a levels adjustment layer. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. This is Chris. Catch you in the next one.